Hi everyone, this is Julia from Teacher Julia at Teachers Pay Teachers. I wanted today to show you how I set up my student materials for the writer's workshop portion of our day. I do write all of my own writing workshop lesson plans and unit plans, but I model them off of the Lucy Calkins writer's workshop model. And so in that model, she says that students should have a writer's notebook in which they brainstorm and typically jot down any ideas they have. But she doesn't say much about how to organize the materials thereafter. So what to do with draft, revise, edits, and publishing. So I came up with my system that I found over the years works really well. This is what the writer's notebook looks like. It's a regular composition book, and there's a lesson where students decorate it with pictures that reveal who they are, and it's a sharing part of the day, and it's really, really fun when um, they complete them and share them with everybody. So this is mine, and the way that the lessons go is the teacher models everything that the students should be doing. So this is my writer's notebook where I have modeled a bunch of brainstorming um, lesson plans and things like that, just what a writer's notebook would look like inside. And then what I have students do is every year on, on their supply list, part of it says a binder and dividers. And this is what they do. They have their binder for the draft, revise, edit, and publish sheets that they use when they're in the writing process. So they're brainstorming in their writer's notebook. When they're ready to start drafting a story or an essay, they're working in their loose leaf paper. So this is just an example of a lesson I was drafting an introduction paragraph. Sometimes it's detailed, sometimes it's just writing. And so these are some drafts that I did for lessons in the draft section of the binder. Then when students are ready to revise their writing, they take out of their draft section and place their story in the revision section. I use post-its a lot for revising and highlighting. So this is an example of something that I was revising. And when, of course, they're finished revising, going through all those lessons, they would take this out, place it in the editing section, edit their story, and have it here in the editing section. So their work is going through the writing process in their binder. Finally, the publishing section, which is empty for me right now. Usually students are typing their published pieces. Some schools, you know, there aren't computers or laptops for students to type, so they're writing their final pieces, and so they would keep it behind in the publishing section. So this is just how I organize the writer's workshop in my classroom. I think it's great. It keeps students accountable for where they are in the writer's process. It helps them stay organized, and they love using a binder. So this is really successful in my classroom, and I hope that it helped you when you're thinking about how to organize the writer's workshop in your classroom. If you have any questions, you can always email me at teacherjuliasresources at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me at Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook.